Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my course of studies. So as you already know from my previous videos, my name is Abhishek Shukla. I'm a student at Hochschule Stralsund and I'm pursuing there my master's in simulation and system design. In this video, I will discuss about simulation and system design, how to get admission, how it is, how the course is and everything. If you're a mechanical engineer, you already know the career opportunities in the field of designing and simulation. For me, designing and simulation is like a skill, which you can use in any industry. If I can design something in a CAD software, I can do the simulations, I can do it for automobile industry or aeroplane industry or medical industry. Even I can work in a furniture industry and make chairs and do the simulation for their tables. So first, let me give you a general overview about this course, what this course is all about. So I will say this is not a course about designing or only simulation, but this is a very general course. The subjects which you will study are CFT, Vehicle Simulation and Test Drive. Then there are subjects which are related to the simulation and production. You will also study subjects which are not related to these things. For example, International Accounting, International Economics and Trade. And then you will also study Computer Science and Machine Learning, which is something from different field. It depends on you which subject you want to make career in. For example, in CFT. So if I want to make a career in CFT, I will not only score good in CFD, I will also do some projects and the other thing which will play a crucial role about in which field I will get the internships or I will go and make my career is my background, my previous projects, my previous studies and my work experience and my previous internships. These things also play a crucial role in which field you will go. But about course, it is a very general course. I will not go into very much details because you can always find what subjects they are going to teach you. Second important thing or second important question is the deadline of the course, the basic requirements of the course and how to apply. The deadline for this course is next month, the December, so you can apply till the end of the December. The application is completely through Uniasis. You have to send your application to Uniasis. They will check if you satisfy the criteria or not. And according to that, they will send the application to your university. If you satisfy the criteria, the university will get your uh, application from Uniasist and then they will decide, the university will decide if you get admitted or not. Third thing, the requirements of this course, the basic criteria which you have to satisfy to get admission. So if you want to apply for this course, the first thing you should do is you should open the course website and you should check the basic requirements, the criteria. For example, there are some very important requirements. You should have 2.0 GPA or less than that then there are some subject specific criteria. So there are four or five subject mentioned, for example, control engineering, and then something related to uh, CAD and designing, something related to the programming. You should have those subjects in your transcript from your bachelors. If you don't have those subjects, it doesn't matter how good your profile is, you will, you will not get the admit. So it is very important that you satisfy all those criteria through your bachelor degree, then only you, sh you should apply. If you don't satisfy any one of them, they are very strict. The chances are you won't get admitted. All the people whose degree is equivalent to 180 CTS, they have to apply for the four semester. All the people whose uh, degree is valid or is equivalent to 210 CTS, they can apply for three semester. For example, people coming from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and all these countries, we have to apply for four semester because our degree is equivalent to 180 CTS only. So we have to do one extra semester. Now, there are questions that uh, some people have work experience, they have done internships, and there are some people also who are going to do second masters. So they already have completed one masters, and this is going to be second masters. So the question is, are they eligible for three semester? But no, that's not how it works here. If your bachelor's, the bachelor degree, only the degree, it is equivalent to 180 CTS, then you should go for four semester. There are people who had some work experiences or who, have, who are going to do double masters. They tried to get admitted in three semesters, but because their degree is equivalent to 180 CTS, they didn't get the admit. They got rejected. So now the next important question is how easy or how tough it is to get admitted in this course. So this is a non-restricted course, which means if you satisfy all the criteria of the admission, you will get the admit. The only thing which is restricted is number of intakes in each semester. So, for example, in 2022, March, when I got the admit, the number of students were around 40. But this year, in summer 2020, the number of students were reduced to 30. I don't know how university decide this, but this is the only thing which is restricted in this course. And because it is an unrestricted course, 
So the admission process works like first come first services. If you apply on time, you satisfy all the criteria and there is a seat left, you will get the admit. It is simple as that. Because it is about simulation and designing, let's talk about the softwares which you can expect during this course. So I was taught ANSYS APDL, ANSYS Fluent for safety, car maker for vehicle dynamics, ANSYS Granta for material selection and lightweight material. Then there were other softwares like SOLIDWORKS, Python, and a little bit about um, Mat MATLAB. But they won't teach you in very deep. It is just basics. Uh, yes, you will do some projects based on that, but they will be very small. And you will also have some of the labs, but at the end you have to learn one of the software in deep if you want to make your career in that one. So now the question is, is it easy to get internship and job after this course? I would say there is not a straight answer for this because there were some students who got internships and jobs and thesis immediately and for others it was difficult. They have to wait for one semester or more than that. What matters in this case is your background. What kind of projects you have done during your bachelor's, what kind of internship you have done, what kind of work experience you bring. The other thing which matters in this case is your language skill, your German language skill. The German language is not required for getting admission in this course, but once you start looking for internships for jobs, it plays a crucial role. People who have language skills, they got internships immediately. So I would suggest before applying to this course, have some work experience and learn some language because it will help you in your daily life also and it will be easy for you to get jobs and internships. So what kind of job our seniors are doing? Our seniors are working in research and development, they are working in designing, they are working in simulation, they are working in CFD. Then there are some seniors who are working for uh, simulation and production which is also a very bright field and there are so much demand for the engineers in this field. Then our seniors are also working for machine learning, AI, ADAS, advanced driving assistance system where you need uh, skills like machine learning, C++ and these languages. So there is a variety of fields where our seniors are working and they have got internship and thesis in. So I guess that's all about this course. That's all information that I can give you in this video. And if you're applying for this course, I wish you all the best. And I hope this video can help you in one day or another. So all the best to you guys. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.